Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lenny. Today I'm going to show you how to get started by walking you through an AI email assistant I built personally. But first, let's quickly talk about what an AI agent is and why it's such an exciting tool right now. So what's an AI agent? So an AI agent is like a software program that comes to feed with the environment, make decisions and take actions autonomously to achieve a specific goal. And in simple terms, it's like having a virtual team member that's not only responding to situations but can also think, plan and act independently based on the tasks you set it to do. So why are AI agents so important right now? Over the last couple of years there's been a massive leap forward in AI technology. Lego and models like GPT-4 have become much smarter. Also API integration tools like NHM and Zapier have made it easier to connect AI with real world applications. And also new platforms like OpenAI's GPT agents are showing just how powerful autonomous AI agents can be. So you sure it's never been easier or powerful to create agents that can automate low work. Now at us at all there's a trick of thinking what powers an AI agent. So there are three major components. The first one is language models. So AI models like GPT can understand and also generate human-like tests. And if you've used ChatGPT, you know what I mean, right? Also APIs, they have been mixed in that power AI agent. If you want to talk to an external system, they need a tool that would allow the agent to actually do things communicate and send things like email, book meetings, or PDF. You know that to communicate with these systems, you need APIs. Also, you need logic and rules. So a lot of people, when they start building AI agents, they just start off like building without any strategy. You need to have smart instructions that tell the agent when to add, how to prioritize, what to do in different situations. So for instance, if you want to create an AI agent that would post on Twitter for you all the time, then you want to first create your brand voice you need to go through that analysis to understand what are usually the instructions or what are usually the steps I take and based on that those instructions or based on what your brand voice is you can provide these instructions to the agent and it's gonna act on behalf of you so this tutorial is gonna be about an email assistant but where are AI agents use beyond email there are tons of real world applications and I've done a lot of tutorials on this channel as well talking about different AI agents applications I've had a tutorial on how to clone your voice. I'm using an AI agent. I've had a tutorial on how to automate posting on YouTube, how to generate lo-fi music on YouTube using AI agents. So I have a lot of real life applications on my channel and I encourage you to go check them out. But really beyond that, you can use an AI agent to implement customer service bots that answer questions 24 seven, um, sales follow up agents that reach out to leads automatically, personal scheduling assistants that manage calendars, e-search assistants that got on some of your information. Um, there are a lot of real world applications. If you think within your own workflows, you realize they have been something manual that you can consider using an AI agent to automate the task. So what do you need to build your own AI agent? Surprisingly, you don't need to be a hardcore programmer anymore. Like to build an AI agent these days, you usually need access to a language model like OpenAI's GPT or some basic coding knowledge. You also need API connections. I'm already sort of explained briefly what an API does but you need API connections to applications and services you want to automate and you also need clear task instructions and prompts that guide your agent's behavior. So in this tutorial I want to walk you through the AI email assistant I built and I'm going to break it down to the basic components behind it. I'm going to show you best steps to create one on your own and even give you practical tips on using your AI agent to further on save you time with productivity and get you ahead of everyone. If you are interested in many more about AI agent and you want to build your first AI agent, then you'd want to stick with me for the end of this tutorial. Let's get started. First, gonna watch you through what this email agent does, and then I'm gonna show you how I built it. First part of my AI agent is the Gmail trigger. If you are building an AI agent, you need to always have the first step. In this case, I'm using a Gmail trigger as a first step because I want my AI agent to be activated anytime it receives an email. So the Gmail trigger is gonna do that for me. And the next part of my workflow is really where I define the responsibilities of the AI agent. So for instance, I've said that helpful email assistants, I've grafted an example of the responses and I've given it all the responsibilities it needs to perform. So this part of my workflow is doing just that for me. The next part of my workflow is where I implement a human in the loop. So AI is great, but it's always good to have a full eye check. So this part of my workflow is really where I would send the response of the AI agent into my email for approval. And if I 
like the response is drafted then I'll send a response if I don't like it I'm just gonna match it as an unread message so that I can go back to it so now that I have showed you exactly how this AI agent works I'm gonna walk you through how to build one for yourself so let's get started with that part of it so I'm gonna come into my NHN reputation and I'm gonna click on create workflow and then when I come into those canvas in here I'm gonna add a first step like I mentioned and yeah on my first step is gonna be a gmail trigger and in my gmail trigger I just wanted to start the AI agent when he receives a message and I wanted to pull every minute so I'm just gonna keep that as this as now you need to connect your gmail credentials you need to create apis and also allow your application to access your gmail account if you want me to do a tutorial on how to create apis to connect to your google account and I can do that as well okay so I have my fresh trader set up the next step for me is to move on to building my agent and defining what my AI agent should be doing so I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna select AI agent and in the I'm gonna say define below in order for me to know what to put in here I need to execute the previous notes so that's what I'm gonna do okay so now that my previous mode has been executed all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this snippet in here so this snippet is really the email that was sent to my email address I'm gonna drag this one in here for now in terms of system message system message is really where you give instructions to your AI agent on what you want you to do so I'm gonna copy this one and then I'm gonna paste it in here okay and I'm gonna add another line and say respond as many okay and the next step is for me to add a human in the loop so the reason why I'm adding a human in the loop is because if I'm getting this agent and I'm giving it all the power I want to make sure that I approve the type of messages sending to my customers or to my clients so a little click on human in the loop and I'm gonna use Gino you could use any of these applications you see here but literally use Gmail since I'm already working in Gino and in terms of my credentials I'm gonna use my existing Gmail credentials operation is to send and wait for a response and I'm gonna put in my email address in here and then in terms of the subjects I'm gonna say approval required so in terms of the message I'm gonna have the message of the send by information first so I'm gonna say message sender and then I'm gonna drag in the person's email address so that you have an idea of who sends the message before you approve it and then I'm gonna also add the original message in the original message I'm gonna put in the sleepest here which is the original message so that I have an idea of what you're responding to and I'm gonna say AI agents response and I'm gonna select what the output of the message is in here to do you also need to add in options for your approval so whether you want to just approve only or you want to approve and disapprove I do want to disapprove and disapprove just because sometimes you may not like the response the AI agent has drafted and so you'd want to like have the ability to disapprove so if I should test the step right now your message will be sent to my email so if I should go into my email right now I should receive an email asking me to either approve or decline the message so let's assume I decline the message what happens next so let me go back into my workflow here and then I'm gonna add an if else statement so that if I decline the message if I'm not happy with the AI agent's response then maybe just mark the message as unlit so I'm gonna draw as approved in here and I'm gonna say is boolean I mean if it's boolean I'm gonna say it's true and if I should test the style final you see that it's gonna be in the false branch that's because I declined the previous message so if it's false meaning if I don't want to go ahead with responding to the email based on the AI agent's response then maybe just mark this as an unlit message okay and to do so we want to go back and grab that exact email ID and mark it as an unread message however if I want this to be true if I approve the message then I want to give it green light to respond to the message so I'd say reply to message and I'm also gonna drag the message ID in here as well and then I'm also gonna drag the output response that was generated by the AI agent I'm gonna deactivate this mode first and I'm gonna run this entire workflow so that I can generate a scenario where I approve the message then I'll come back into my email and as you can see I have the message the original message in here and then I also have the response in here so I'm gonna like approve this message so I'm gonna say approve I come back in here and I approve this message now if I open this here you'd see that there is um some information in here so in terms of what i'll be sending i'll be sending the output message as a response okay so if i should test the step right now you see that i would have sent labels telling advising us that the message has been sent and if i should go into my email you'd see that the message has been sent so if i come in here you can see that we have the email response that has been sent for us so i'm little around this entire through again i'm gonna approve it so that you have an idea of how it's gonna work okay so it sent the message to my inbox and waiting for approval
approval. So if I come into my inbox and I approve this message right now, you'd see that I should receive a response in here shortly. Okay, so this has run. So as you can see, the message has been received, a response has been sent. So yes, um, you could change this as much as you want. Instead of saying this mean you could have something else. You can get it to respond to the person's name, but I don't have that. So yeah, that is it, guys. That is it for today's tutorial. Like I mentioned, I do have other tutorials on AI agents. Some of them are simple, some of them are complex. So if you ask just as part of in the world of AI agent, I recommend that you watch my tutorial to have an understanding on how AI agents work and operate. I'm going to leave those videos as well on the screen so that you can go check them out thank you for watching and see the mixed tutorial